We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. It's Game 3 of the World Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago White Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And, Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. You know, I think the phrase must win is overused in sports. But even though this isn't an elimination game, it does sort of feel like a must win. Doesn't matter what sport you're talking about. If you go down 3-0 in any series, you're fighting nearly an impossible uphill battle. Feels like the series kind of rides on this game right here. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Ronald Bolaños will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. And when he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one, he threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings that stuff back in this one, it could be back-to-back -back powerhouse performances. All right, guys, here's a defensive alignment for the Chicago White Sox. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Batting third, the designated hitter, Eddie Gale. Hey, get your pitch up there. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Grisham makes the catch to end the inning. So a fairly painless top of the first. Now it's the White Sox turn in a scoreless ballgame. Next will be the designated hitter, Eddie oh, James. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hitter. Eddie. Yeah. The pitch. Hard liner to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here, having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. He's running. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Hey, hit and run right there. I know the guy had to pull up on second base because the ball didn't get to the outfield, but you know what? You'll take the knock first and second, regroup. Let's see what happens. Striding in, now Jeffrey that, Ramos comes into this at bat Jeffrey 0 for 1 in the ball game. Going, now going. the double steal is on here. A swing and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Stepping into the box, Eddie James. He singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. A swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer so far in the series. As the lead is cut to four, it's six to two now.
Yeah, they have everything to lose in this game, but it's obvious they have zero quit in them. They're going to battle until the last out, and with that homer, they're that much closer to prolonging the series. Stepping in, Eddie James. He'll swing it from the left Eddie, side right here. Go. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard Come that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. A swing and a drive sent oh, out toward the gap. Back goes Grisham to the track, to the wall. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, and it's now an 8-6 ball game. This one has turned into a slugfest of Ruthian proportions. Seven combined big flies. You guys remember seeing anything like that in a while? Yeah, Dan, this doesn't make sense. It's absolutely freezing outside. The last place you... Ready to take his hacks again, Eddie James, as he'll look to follow Eddie. up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. His last at bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. This is line to left. Jimenez has got it, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. D backs out in front, 10 to 6. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one. And this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Well, he blasted a couple of balls over the wall in this one. Really put the guys on his back and carried him to the victory. And this one concludes at a 10-7 score. The Arizona Diamondbacks take a commanding 3-0 lead in this World Series. Forrest Whitley takes home the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Ten runs on 16 hits. One error, they left eight runners on base. For the White Sox, seven runs, 11 hits.